Hola amigos, soy Jane y esto es Fincarte. Nothing terribly exciting happening in the garden at the moment. It's maintenance jobs. Uh, it's my current obsession, which is uh, squashing green fly, a lot of weeding, and watering if it's dry. But you may have heard the saying, don't sweat the small stuff. And I think in life in general, that's, that's a good thing. In the garden, not so much. The more you garden, uh, the more you become uh, the kind of person who notices little things. The sooner you catch a problem, the better. And noticing slight changes in your plants is the way to stay ahead of possible problems. I have every year an issue with peach leaf curl and an issue with aphids and ants. The ants farm the aphids so when you see a lot of ants heading up and down a plant you know there has to be a problem with that plant or that tree uh, and it's worthwhile looking closer to see if you have aphids. With peach leaf curl most years I can just remove the bad leaves and mostly it's okay and it doesn't interfere with the fruiting of the tree most years this year it looks quite bad um, but also my nectarine is covered in aphids and the ants are starting to uh, farm them and make it worse plus there's a, a lot of stalks with no leaves at all on them which is a little bit concerning so anyway today i am going to spray for the aphids and then in a couple of days i will use a spray for the peach leaf curl the aphid spray is a mixture of water a little olive oil and a little washing up liquid uh, and it works a treat, but actually what works the best uh, for aphids is rubber gloves and squishing the aphids. It's gross, but it actually works the best. Do not expect the problem to solve itself after one spray. It might, if you've caught it really early, uh, but very often it doesn't and you have to go back a few days later and do it again. we go. There are some little baby nectarines on here. Uh, only a few but also the tree is a little bit too young and I would prefer that it gets stronger before it tries to fruit so I'm actually going to remove them. Poor little plant. I mean that's what's happened here. All these leaves here, leaves, all these twigs here that are totally empty, devoid of leaves, um, it's the aphids that attacked it. They really, I'm doing the squishing bit now, which is not pleasant. I'm going to have to come in a couple of days and um, 
do something about the leaves, the peach leaf curl. I mean, there's aphids all over my gloves. Aphids are actually quite delicate and they're very easy to kill. And I won't have got them all in this one go anyway, uh, since that was a really bad infestation. I'm going to put a little ant powder around the base. Some ant powder around the bottom will discourage any more from coming up. It's a case of constant vigilance with the garden. This is breakfast. A strawberry and banana smoothie. The strawberries from the garden. The banana obviously not. Although some places in Spain grow bananas. You've got green fly on you. Where have you been? And now you've got milk on you. There's quite a few weeds have popped up, which is to be expected after all the rain that we had. I love my vegetable garden, but I have a life. I do want to do other things. Um, so I try and tread this fine line between being able to produce as many vegetables as I would like and not spending all my time in the garden in order to do that. In order to minimise the work, I have been using cardboard as a weed suppressant and it, it actually it works very well. Uh, but eventually it does break down and depending on your soil and your weather conditions, that could happen uh, in just a year. So it's not a, a long-term solution. You would have to be adding cardboard every year. I don't know how well that would do actually adding cardboard every year but it's good to get you started uh, definitely or if there's an area where you haven't got time to do anything uh, with it just now get it covered uh, and at least then the weeds will die off and when you do have the time and you take the cover off it should be an easier job just to remove the dead weeds out every day and squish green fly. <laughs> Seriously guys! Seriously! I know! You laid an egg! Obviously these were hiding when I sprayed. No, I don't want any nectarines this year. Have to spray 
try again. You need to be careful you don't overdo it. I have done that in the past. Um, just sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and in actual fact the tree does not like too much of that. Uh, you end up killing it instead of curing it. Now I just have to be patient and come back tomorrow I think and have a look. In the meantime, more weeding. That's a cuckoo. Yeah, sorry. It's pointless me trying to whisk the camera around to show you. Ooh. What are you sat there watching me? Oh, you're a blackbird. Okay. It doesn't matter if you don't know anything at all about gardening. Basically, it's scratching out a piece of ground. There's a hoopoo. In with the chicken. I wonder if I can catch him. No. If I go any closer, he's gonna go. And you can't actually see him. Well, I think I've said this before. I'm no wildlife photographer. Let me go and check my other trees. Thanks for watching. Come back next time. Can't tell you what the uh, video will be about, uh, but hopefully chickens. <laughs>